guys, welcome to Bastet! Welcome to Bastet! Welcome to Star! You are Star! You are Star! You are Star! You are I love the fact that you were speaking to me just so perfectly normally like three seconds ago and then you just become this, this, this entertainer and then you just go like, hey, it's so amazing. Like the button that you have to like switch on and switch off is like so interesting. You like that, so you know that is true. You're an actor. Come on. You understand that. Oh, I, I totally understand that. How difficult was it to choose a role such as Cuckoo, which was considered bold and I don't think every actor is comfortable choosing or picking a role like that. Was it easy? Was it difficult? No, for and me, it enjoyed. wasn't really. No, I just, it was the easiest choice I've ever actually made. And I don't mean this like today in retrospect. I mean, like, like it genuinely was even back in the day, because literally for me, it was like, I want to break out of what I'm doing. I want to do something new. Somebody's giving me an opportunity. It's right there in front of me. All I have to do is audition well and get this part. And also for me, it was work or no work. I was like, screw that shit, dude. Pick work. So I yeah. picked work because that's what mattered to me at that point in time. And it was about taking that risk. And yes, I do understand most people consider it to be like bold or like, wow, that was so brave. Correct. But I really didn't think of it. Awesome. Like I didn't. I think I didn't let that, you know, uh, I went with my instinct and my instinct was do it. You know, I didn't sit and like cross examine my instinct at that point of time. I just Super. did it because my instinct said yes. And I'm so glad I did because I do know that like when you look at it today, it could have played out in any way. You know, it could have been like the worst decision of my life, but I'm so glad it turned out to be the best decision. So, you know, you'd only know once you've jumped off the cliff. Okay, I'm going to ask you uh, three things. Okay. And I want you to answer as swiftly and quickly as possible. Okay. Three things that you say when you meet an irresistibly good looking man. Wow, you're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> really? You would say that? I do. Wow. You are so hot. Um, do you have a job? Can I have your phone number? Okay. Three things that you do before going to bed. Besides oh, brushing, uh, because you already covered that. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say that. So I brush my teeth. Um, oh, I make my uh, pillow mounted. So I sleep, you know, with the pillow mounted so that I can put my foot on the pillow on one side. So I make my pillow mounted and I meditate. Three things you would like to do on your first date oh, or your date. Uh, okay. Uh, have good wine, uh, have lots of laughs, and have a fantastic first kiss. When is the last time you went out on a date? Yesterday, the day before. Last In the lockdown, I went for a date with who? My cat. Unle unless you're having someone in your house. Yeah, my house help and my cat. <laughs> oh, your cat. Okay, so last date was months ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Date was like, I think in November sometime. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I had wine and I had a kiss and I had good laughs. Yeah, good. Yeah. So it's a good date then. Then you haven't. Yeah, yeah, it's a great date. It's a great date. Yeah. And are you seeing someone right now? No. No. Three things that you would like to do in your honeymoon. Have sex. Wear contraception. Honeymoon. Yes. Okay. And do scuba diving. Super. Choose one. Would you rather? Stalk your ex or stalk your crush? Oh, stalk my crush. It's less stupid. <laughs> this I want you to um, educate the men and help us understand this aspect. When a woman wears clothes that are revealing, when you feel sexy, you might want to wear a, a clothing, a piece of clothing of your choice. Right. Um, what does that mean? Are you okay if a man checks you out or hits on you? Would you like, 
if you get a passing comment or a compliment is that creepy or that is depend on who the person is let the men understand what it means when a when a woman wears a, a sexy outfit so i think we kind of trivialize things to a sexy outfit i think i could be the sexiest if i say something really smart as well True. what i'm trying to say is that i'm not objectified by the clothes that i wear okay but at the same time i think any kind of a compliment is accepted you know okay. like and it could be from anybody it it shows confidence when somebody can compliment with uh with Benash. classiness yeah mm-hmm. with classiness if 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 there is a sense of honesty in it then the other person will Receive accept it. your compliment but you don't expect your compliment to be followed with an equal and opposite reaction <laughs>